while I'm ready to get into the camp and compete and bring back that Shaq Griffin that used to be here and uh, back in the Pro Bowl and, and give this team everything that I got. How depressing is a back injury? Because I, I have a bad back. I'm, I'm a tall guy. It just like, just like a strained back. It's depressing. Like you see like ankle injuries, knee injuries, you can still mm -hmm. get around. How hard was it to go through uh, a, a back problem, especially for a young man mm -hmm. like yourself? Uh, I feel like it, I feel like the the most of it was in the beginning. You know, I feel like that's the toughest thing. I wasn't walking the same. I didn't have the uh the strength in my glute or hamstring or calf muscle like I used to. So I feel like the beginning process was the worst. You know, and I got to a point when I had that surgery, felt better, and then I had to go months without being able to do nothing. They wouldn't let me sweat. I feel like watching football and not be able to do anything. I feel like that was pretty tough. But getting back to that mindset, that grind, got to the point where I was so hungry for it to get back to where I wanted to be. I ain't even thinking nothing of the back injury anymore. <laughs> I was ready to get back to the grind. I was ready to push and go to the limits I ain't never been before. What is what does D'Amico and his defense offer for you that that might be that might benefit you this year? Oh uh, well, one they give me a chance to play in the defense that I'm definitely familiar with. You know, uh, get a chance to play some things that I don't seen before in Seattle. And you know, I've been in that system for four years. I came in to a situation where I already know what's going on. You know, it's a different terminology here. But, man, he gave me an opportunity to play, you know, in the defense that I'm familiar with so I can come in and go fast right away. So I love that part. I heard that you like seafood. Uh, have you <laughs> indulged in any of the seafood here? Oh, not yet. Actually, uh, during media day, I wrote down a lot of lists of different names for seafood. Okay. So I got this list prepared and ready. And, you know, uh, me and my wife are big on seafood, so I really can't wait to get my whole family out here and get a chance to try the food together. Because if I did it by myself, oh, man, that's a, that's a man in trouble. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I got to wait for the family to get out here. But I do got a nice list, so okay. I'm, I'm excited for it. <laughs> how, how, many, how many people in the family? So right now it's me and my wife, and we got two kids. I got a three-year-old boy, and then I got a two-month little girl. So okay. boy and a girl right now running around going crazy. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm expecting my first. It's going to be a girl in August, so I'm, I'm right there. Oh, there we you. go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, uh, you, you sound like I'm, I'm up. I'm yeah, up he's, gonna, huh? he's in for it. There's no question. Oh, yeah, for sure. You know, in the beginning, it's going to be tough, but you're going you're gonna to definitely come to enjoy it. No worries. No worries at all. You know, <laughs> one thing we talk about when we get the guys on here, uh, is kind of getting to know him. And one of the things I saw, and I don't know if this is still the case, it was an older bio that uh, I read about you, and it said that you are a big-time bowler. Like, you like going bowling. <laughs> is, is, is that still the case? Don't tell me you're one of those guys that's got your own bowling ball. You're not taking <laughs> no, it that no, far. I, <laughs> I don't have my own bowling ball. I used to go bowling a lot, you know, and I, and I switched it over. I started going to movie theaters. Okay. You know, I started to do things that my kids can kind of do with me. The bowling thing, they really wasn't enjoying it as much as me. But I still I still got the technique. You know, we had a bowling competition here. And, you know, I was one of the guys, I didn't want to say much. I seen somebody bring their bag. I didn't say anything. Mm. <laughs> you know, I was, a, I was a guy that went last on the team, so they didn't know who you were or how I bowled until I went. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I ain't going to account it. <laughs> so you're, you're, then I showed them my work. <laughs> you're, you're, going to the, you're going to the movie theater. You're walking up to the snack stand. What, what are you getting? Snack stand. Okay, if I'm going to the movie theater – I got to get the Impossible Nuggets. Okay. I get the Impossible Nuggets. I get popcorn for the whole family. Then I get the candy to share. But so, for some reason, I never get any because my kids just take it. <laughs> and then we get one slushie to share. So okay. we'd be pretty situated. Okay. Well, our whole group is situated. I just wish they'd share a little more. But, see, you know, I ain't complaining. <laughs> see, you know. You, they you, take everything now. They got, take everything. You got to sneak in the candy. <laughs> even even if you're on that NFL money, you got to sneak in the candy. I'm trying, man. I got to get better at it. I don't think my pocket's big enough. I just got to no, carry You got to get the hoodie. Y get the hoodie. I've snuck a Chipotle burrito. I've snuck a Chipotle burrito in there. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah you good. Right yeah, yeah, you good. You good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take that tip for sure. <laughs> I, I do want to get a couple more football questions in, but I got to first of all find out what your high score bowling was and what what are you seeing out of uh, CJ Stroud and Davis Mills? Um, well, my bowling, I definitely been bowling in the 200s. Oh, man. You know, I got a nice little group where we compete against a lot. And, you know, and I'm, no, I'm not even the best in the group that I used to bowl with, but uh, it's a definitely some tough competition. And uh, what I see out of CJ is a person who got so much grit. And, you know, it's, it's easy for a rookie to come in and kind of be last of days ago. This is a guy that's extremely hungry. And Davis Mills showing the maturity, going into his third year in this league. You can see the, the process that he's taking. And, you know, and it's a full out competition. And I love it. You know, the guys are battling for each other. They're helping each other. But like I said, you got CJ showing his maturity. 
you know, and you get a chance to come in here and he's not being a rookie. He's not showing himself as a rookie. He's showing himself as a guy that can lead this organization. Yeah, just, and then you got Mills. Go yeah. ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Oh, yeah. Then you got Mills, that guy going into the third year is doing some amazing things. These guys is looking very well. I love it. You know, all we're hearing is like like Davis Mills is, is really uh, really pushing CJ. You're on the field. It seems like it's mm -hmm. a legit competition, is it? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One thing is we got to make it hard on them. And, you know, I remember talking to CJ at one point in practice. I said, if you got guys talking junk on defense, it's okay to say something. Go ahead. Talk a little trash back because I promise you this team is going to follow every step. Every single step you take, we're going to follow right behind you. And then you can see it. The energy is different. When CJ started talking trash, you make a play. Oh, the defense is upset. Oh, it just brings out the best out of everybody. And the receiver is talking trash. And you got to love that type of competition when you're making everybody better. And, you know, the main word is iron shop is iron. And he's showing it. He's showing it. The more he speaks up, the more the offense speaks up. And the more they speak up, the defense just get angry out there and want to bring out the best out of everybody. So I love it. I love it. Who's, yes, talk, who's so, talking the most trash, Jimmy Ward and who else? <laughs> Oh, on defense? Or are you talking about just the whole team? Just, just the whole team, but I'm assuming Jimmy Ward's pretty vocal out there. Yeah, uh, Petrie is another one. He's very vocal. I love that part. Petrie is going gonna to talk a little trash in that back end. But CJ, on offense right now, he's number one. He's number one guy. Really? He's the number so one guy. Is he good at it? Is he good at it? Oh, yeah. He won the, he won the ones where you when he's talked, you can clearly hear every word that's coming out of his mouth to the point where it makes you angry. Oh, I love <laughs> it. I love that process. I love it. Okay. <laughs> so you better be ready. You better be ready. All right. So, uh, you know, the, the, you mentioned this at the very start about, and Landry did, about, uh, you know, you, you, you were injured. Uh, you, you feel 100% even better than 100% right now. Have you changed anything? I mean, because it kind of makes you step back and say, oh, am I doing this the right way? Do I need to change the way I, I approach the game in the offseason? Oh, uh, was good. I know the main thing was with me, I uh, wanted to change my diet. I would do better. I remember uh, one year I went uh, vegan for a couple of years, and I felt like I wasn't getting the things that I need to push my body as much as I want to push it. And now that I changed that, oh, yeah, it's a big difference. I wish I would did it. I wish I would did it earlier. So you said impossible <laughs> nuggets. Are you mostly like fish and uh, and impossible uh, meat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Uh, I know when I come to the uh, to the theaters, when it comes to getting anything besides you know the impossible nuggets, they start putting extra stuff that I don't know what they put in there. And I don't really care to find out. I don't need to be walking out of there and my stomach hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna prevent that one. I'm gonna prevent that one for just for tonight. <laughs> your uh, your draft, your whole path to the draft was uh, really special. Not just because of you, but because you, you got to you got to spend it with your with your brother. Uh, what what is your brother up to now? So my brother was actually just on uh, Good Morning America uh, yesterday. Um, I think he's starting to get more into that broadcast. I know he with the NFL Legends, so he's going around shaking on teams and the motivation of speaking. Is his number one deal, you know. He's been doing a couple of uh, Fortune 500. He got some NFL teams where he get a chance to come in and motiv uh, be a motivational speaker for those programs. So he's doing some uh, awesome things. It's funny because he was on Good Morning America yesterday, and I get in the locker room and someone asked me, "Was it me?" <laughs> I'm sitting in front of them, but they asked me, "Was I on Good Good Morning America?" So that was a uh, pretty interesting. I should have just said, "Yeah, that was me." Yeah, I just went back here. I should I should have went with it. I'm super. Went. How I'm often? Super. Man, how often did that happen with you? I mean, I'm, I bet you just a million times with you and your brother. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, I feel like the worst thing that happened is when my uh, brother got to the league and he tried to steal my nickname. So I get in, I get Shaq. So Shaq Griffin, and then he gets drafted, and he want to call tell everybody his name is Shaq as well. It can only be one Shaq here. One Shaq here. And good thing it was, he was a rookie. So I came up with a nickname. We called him Baby Shaq. So now he's the biggest, but he had to walk around with Baby Shaq running around. So since he tried to take my name. You can't take your name, man. Nah, <laughs> you can't take my name. You, you, <laughs> two, Shaqs, two Shaqs running around. You know how confusing that gets. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that. that, that's, that that's, who was older, by the way? Who, who was? Uh, I was. That's okay. why I was so yeah, confused. See, you got, he tried to take my name. <laughs> yeah, you got, you got dibs there now. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. All right, Shaq, we appreciate you, man. Thank you very much. Looking forward to uh, seeing you out there. Uh, yes, congratulations sir. on being healthy. I'm sure you got the uh, the Jags marked on the calendar, too, and uh, we, we look forward to seeing oh, for you sure. do your thing. <laughs> appreciate you, man. I appreciate right. you guys having me again. All right. Thank, you. Thank you very much. Uh, Shaq right. Griffin here on In the Loop, Sports Radio 610. Okay, so C.J. Stroud's a trash talker, huh? I love that. Okay. That's a little okay. bit of news.